What up out there, everyone? It's your boy back again. Another episode of the Pro Se Argument. So, this is more of a reason why you have to settle. And excuse all the noise. I'm out here in Colombia, you know, relaxing. I, need, I needed a vacation, a staycation. Actually, I moved to Colombia off of all the settlement money I won for my prior cases. And I'm about to win this third case once I drag these fuckers in the federal court. So this is why you should settle. Why you should settle? Because employment discrimination laws are non-existent. They're not real. They're fake. And the whole process is a farce. Okay, I'm going to go over details of the arbitration agreement. And I'm going to go over details of the arbitration I just did so you can see for yourself, as well as prior cases, where you can see for yourself that, for lack of a better term, employment discrimination is fake. The laws are fake, you know? The laws don't protect you. The laws don't, they never really have clarified what employment discrimination really is, right? And so the courts have erroneously conspired federal, state courts, and arbitration have now been compromised to erroneously conspire to deny you your lawful rights. So in other words, I don't know what they're looking for. They don't even know what they're looking for. They tried to say, oh, no racial terminology was used. No racial slurs or progenitives were used in the hiring decision. But we also know there's adequate cases where these instances did happen and the court still said that was a discrimination because it didn't come from a supervisor. So there are very, very legitimate aspects of employment discrimination that happen every day, but the courts are compromised as well as arbitration. Now don't get me wrong, I do love arbitration. It is way better than going to federal court and I highly advocate for it. Of course, like you know, you always need a lawyer and it seems like the main reason you need a lawyer, especially in arbitration, is just because it's cronyism, right? They're never gonna say, me, I'm correct. Even though I'm correct and I can show them in black and white, they're never gonna rule against another jurist. A jurist is never gonna rule against another jurist. It's like asking the devil to police themselves, right? So. This is the reason why employment laws have been compromised. Employment laws don't matter. Employment laws are fake. First off, you gotta understand, white people are doing the decision-making process of your case. They've never dealt with any type of bias or employment discrimination at all in their whole life, except for the differences between blue eyes, brown eyes, brunette and brown hair, I mean brunette, brown hair and blonde, yellow hair, they've never dealt with employment discrimination, ever. So how do they know what it is, right? They try to put it back to instances of lynchings and enslavement, but that's not employment discrimination. You're dead. <laughs> you can't remit any damages when you're dead, right? So, as far as they want to be concerned, and this is a geopolitical thing, America, for lack of a better term, is a non-discriminatory country, but nobody can tell you when and where discrimination in America ended. Nobody can point to where, what, what city or state there is excellent equality and equity, right? So these are all just presumptions. These are all legal theories that hold no weight. And so this is how you know that employment discrimination laws are fake, they're compromised. Basically, a lot of people died in the civil rights movement for nothing. They basically defrauded and, and cheated and did the same scam on my grandfathers that they did on their grandfathers with the whole enslavement of the indigenous peoples of Turtle Island. So, I mean, you know, and that's why you should settle. Of course, there's techniques and methods I've learned that work. 
when you're attempting to settle. One of those is the district that you sue in. One of the good reasons for me to, to sue Yelp under 42 USC 1981, which is coming, is that I'll be in the San Francisco district, federal district court, which is a lot more favorable. It's probably one of the more favorable districts for employment discrimination in the country. So that's one of the tactics you can use is most of these corporations, you're able to sue them in any district and you pick the right district, i.e. avoid New York at all costs. That district is the worst, but you can, you can pick the right district based on your circumstances and you have a great chance of getting an adequate settlement, you know? Because basically everybody knows it's out on the streets, right? 99.5% of the time, the federal court is always gonna side with the employer just because. If you have a lawyer, they're more likely to settle with you because they don't wanna pay your lawyer's legal fees. And most likely you have a better chance of prevailing when you have a lawyer. These are true. But even still, in my, in my opinion, doing my diligence search for a lawyer, I found a legal I found a legal profession or legal people, legal professions or legal people to be a bunch of lames, okay? They want silver bullets. They want things that don't exist. Listen, I'm gonna tell you what employment discrimination is from someone who's experienced it and is technically an expert. That is the black man, for lack of a better term, the indigenous turtle island man. All the different names they give me, all the monikers they give me, African American man. I'm an expert at employment discrimination. And I'm gonna tell you what employment discrimination really is. By definition, what it should be. It is any adverse action that goes against me. If I lose my job for any reason, other than what's in the handbook, that's discrimination. Because white people do the same exact thing. And the fact that they say white people don't behave and aren't, worse, and aren't the worst employers is prejudice in and of itself. So there you have that. And that's the belief. Yelp believes that the white worker is better than the black worker. Yada, 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 yada. That's Yelp's belief, you know? At least in this arbitration proceeding. And that's what we're gonna show. But I got something special for Yelp. <laughs> I got something special for them. This is far from over. This is far from over, okay? Very far from over. And what I got for them is gonna be so special, you know, <laughs> they're not gonna be able to recover <laughs> from it. So anyway, that's what employment discrimination is. Employment discrimination is any adverse action taken against you if you are Let's just say for better, for federal, federal, federal linguistics, let's just say African-American. If you are an African-American and you lose your job because of any employment decision that you had no part of, that's employment discrimination. Because there are white people who have done the exact same thing and they don't lose their job. And that's what I proved doing arbitration. And of course, they still ruled against me incorrectly. And I'm gonna show you guys all that. I'm just putting it all together the right way because see, when I strike, I make sure my opponent stays down. So this is far from over. And again, how you know it's employment discrimination. I'm going to the gym, by the way, get my workout on. How you know it's employment discrimination? Because they don't care. They don't care about any of the black publicity that's about to come their way. They just don't care because they think as a black man, as an African-American man, you don't matter. That's the thing. As an African-American man, a woman, they think you don't matter. All they care about right now is sexual harassment and homosexual discrimination, which we know doesn't exist. There's no such thing as homosexual discrimination because they all got jobs and they all making money. So I don't know how someone can tell by your, I, can, I don't know how someone can look at you and see what your, orient, what your sexual orientation is, find that to be uh, 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 immutable trait 
that they are that they have animus towards. I don't I don't see how that works. And as we know, sexual harassment is basically based on a woman's preference for who she wants to flirt with her or not flirt with her. We know that too. That's a very popular notion. Again, these are not my this is not my research, but this is research that's out there and I will provide links in the description so you can't try to blame me for shit that's already been researched thoroughly and debunked. But that's the truth of the matter. The legal profession are a bunch of lames. All they care about is anything but discrimination based on race, age, color, and nationality. And we also know African Americans are not African Americans. They're not even African. More research. <laughs> So yeah, so today's a great day. And like I said, this is why you wanna settle because the system is rigged. It's a rigged game. If you try to go the distance, I mean, I wasn't gonna settle this time for a lot of reasons. And it doesn't matter that they won because I just had to do it for the formality. I never went into arbitration expecting to win. I just went into arbitration expecting to accomplish one tick on a checkbox so that they can't say I didn't do arbitration because that's another trick that they do. So you're gonna, you're gonna not wanna do arbitration, but that's why I sped it along so fast because you wanna get out of it and you wanna get into federal court. Now it would have been nice to win, it would have been nice to settle, but these guys came in like a bunch of clowns. And we're gonna see them on the big screen, all over YouTube, Google videos and everything like that. Google ad videos, everything like that. Yelp's name as a discriminatory company. And that's gonna be the end of it. And that's it. I can't pull that back. And they've been warned, but they don't care. And this is why they don't care. Because they don't think the world cares about me and you know what maybe that is true but it doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. all right so that's what we got for today guys pro se argument why you should settle